Hello, this is the Shift Asia in-depth series with Lead Ventures. In line with Alpha Sara's pre-accelerator for women, we're featuring female entrepreneurs. We now head to Kuching to speak to Dr. Sharon Lee from MyScripts as well as MedWell. So, uh, Dr. Sharon, you started a chain of pharmacies in Kuching called MedWell after returning from the US. You said there was a missing link with Interprofessional Collaboration or IPC. So, what is IPC and how does that work? How it works usually is um, through a centralized uh, software or centralized system. And some of these pharmacies, uh, pharmacies and hospitals, um, their systems can connect. Right. So a patient's care from prescriptions to like medical records to um, whatever, everything about their health gets connected right. from hospital level to the pharmacy level and sometimes even dentists, uh, dental clinics, right. uh, if they're within the same, same, how do you call that, like a same system, right? right. And I was really used to that and that was... Um, it's not just from like a convenient point of view, mm. but more so like a, um, looking at every individual patient as the center of care mm. sort of view, right? And coming back here, um, it was sort of initially, I, I, for lack of a better word, it, it was kind of like a culture shock mm. at first because um, what I realized coming back here is that each uh, profession are pretty much on their own. Yeah. A health profession, right? right? The pharmacists are the pharmacists, and the doctors, you know, are the doctors. Um, dentists, dentists are their own. Um, they're, I, I like this. I like to call it like a disconnected healthcare mm. Mm. system uh, um, in Malaysia, because there's a lack of system or lack of lack of a software or some sort of like communication tool mm. between these healthcare professions for. Of healthcare professionals for us to communicate with each other effectively about the patient's care. So that's what you want right. to do with my scripts, right? And you plan you yes. that's, and you plan to do this uh, beyond Sarawak, and it should be across across the country. I take it. Yes, um, with my scripts. So what my scripts is is basically a software for pharmacies to manage their patients' medications. Uh, it's a whole system to help them manage their patients' medications, mm. those on chronic medications and burn them down, or those on uh, uh, the active uh, medications as well, short-term medications as well. Mm. And uh, because right now in Malaysia, pharmacies do not have any sort of system in uh, for them to manage their patients' medications. So like, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people can resonate with this. Like you go into a pharmacy, you tell the pharmacist, oh, I'm looking for medication A, medication B. Right. And pharmacists, you know, if they check in, they check in their in their inventory. So if they have um, if they have the medication, they'll give it to you. Um, or if they not, if they don't have it, they'll they'll be like, oh, okay, um, I'll have to order this. So maybe it'll be ready in two days, and you'll have to wait, right? Mm -hmm. Or you have to go to the next pharmacy and start looking for it. Uh, but once you get your medication in your care ends there. So there's right. no follow-up. Basically, there's follow-up from, from the pharmacy. There's no, there's, and, and it's all on you, on the patient themselves to um, keep track of their medications. And if you're on like high blood, high blood pressure medications, diabetes medications, like you're the one that's keeping track of, oh, when my medication's going to run out, how am I taking this? Some medications take like three times a day, right. once a day. In the morning, at night, some before food, some after food. It gets really complicated for for the layman. Um, it's it's complicated for pharmacies to manage. Right. If someone's on like what we call polypharmacy, which is a lot of medications, right. especially elderly. Um, it's it's complicated and and it takes some time to manage, even for healthcare professionals. Right. Mm. So it's it's a problem for. For the layman, for the lay people, like it's right. So what my scripts plan to do is then you have a central point of uh, uh, information for both the patients and the 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 pro the medical professionals. It's for so we're starting out with the pharmacies. So mm. the pharmacies would be the ones to manage the patients' medications. So for those on chronic medications, what my scripts will do is 
uh, provide pharmacies a guide on when the patient's next refills are due. Right. So they have the view of all, all of the patient's uh, refills, so when they're due, all their medications. And we've got um, medication safety tools incorporated, such as um, drug interaction checker mm. uh, right within the system and also automated label printing. So instead of like writing labels, right. sticking to the medications and some sometimes pharmacies get too busy that they don't even have time to do that. Right. It's all medication safety issues right there. And we're solving that problem with automated label printing mm -hmm. right, with, right within the system. It comes out, prints, prints out for you for the pharmacies to just stick right on the medication. What excites you about being an entrepreneur? Being an entrepreneur is, well, first of all, I have always liked um, creating, creating my own solutions to my own problems. So an interesting thing about my scripts, um, when I first started out, met well with my husband actually, um, we started out met well and then we realized, you know, my husband's also a US trained pharmacist and we realized like, wow, there's, there's a lot of problems with like chronic medication. How do we solve this? So at first we wanted to develop a software, like a system for our internal use. It's just for Metwell. Mm. Okay. And then as we were developing, we realized, wow, like, you know, we're getting somewhere with this thing. Like it's, I feel like many other pharmacies can benefit from this. I and mean, you know, we're, we're going somewhere with this. So that's when we realized, okay, maybe we should try to commercialize this. And that's how MySquares was born, actually. It right. started out as a internal software okay. that we were trying to develop for ourselves. Then we realized um, this problem that we're trying to solve is not just our problem, right. but it's a problem that many other pharmacies are encountering as well. Mm. Like we're, we're trying to get rid of um, manual recording, with or like trying to go into like purchase history and fumble through like lists and lists of endless just a lot of a lot of clutters of data right. that we're trying to get rid of um, to simplify pharmacy. Right. You know, having started a business, right, and of course doing this together with your husband, though, what are the challenges and has gender ever been a factor, whether good or bad, in developing your business? So working with my husband. Um, and I'm sure a lot of spouses who work together can resonate with this. Um, there are good days and there are bad days. And because we're husband and wife, uh, sometimes uh, some, how, how do I say it? Like, uh, if we disagree on some things when it comes to business, right. it can get personal. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, like, we're husband and wife. It's, it's normal, you know? It, one, you just have to get over that 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 thought of like it being personal. It's really not. It's for the better of the business. Mm. Um, yeah, sure. Like we have moments where like we can go on and on about back and forth about what we disagree on. Uh, mm. But at the end of the day, I really enjoy working with my husband. Mm. Is he? I feel like the way that he thinks and the way that he works, uh, coming up with like big ideas. Mm -hmm sort of fits fits with the way that I work because right. uh, I'm more of a in-depth person like more more of like a filling out filling out the gaps kind of person so we, we work we work well together actually and in terms of like gender roles um, I think fortunately for myself I haven't I hope I don't <laughs> I haven't ran into any uh, bad situations mm -hmm. where my gender poses as a sort of like a like a negative thing oh right okay my entrepreneurship um, on the contrary actually i feel like as a woman um particularly as a mother now mm. uh, as a young as a young mother on top of that i think that um the people that i have i have uh, run into uh, in my entrepreneurship journey uh, have been very helpful in understanding that um, as a mother mm. of two littles, um, it's not easy, right? Running running two businesses now and then having to run full time at right. home as well with right. the two kids. 
and I'm sure all mothers can, can resonate with this. It's not easy. It's like three full-time jobs mm. running at the same time. And with entrepreneurship, it's a, it's not like, you know, it's not a nine-to-five kind of job where, where you know, you can just shut off once okay. you get off of work. It, it goes on 24-7, right? right? Like, just like your children. Like, you <laughs> think about, oh, whether my children are eating well, like, are they, are they, how much milk are they drinking? Like, oh, um, I'm seeing this this patch of rash on their skin like the little things like that you think about that with your children and it's the same with with your business mm. right with, like that's that's the that's the mindset of an entrepreneur i feel like that right. um, that every entrepreneur should have okay. like you're taking care of a business like your own child mm. so it's, it's running in your mind 24 7 and and i actually enjoy that right final and question I yeah enjoy <laughs> okay, final question. Uh, why would you encourage women to join an accelerator uh, if they plan to start a business or even if they're not, right? Um, how do you think something like this can help them in their careers? I think joining an accelerator is very helpful in many ways. Well, first of all, you get mentors, you know, it's seasoned mentors that can help you through your journey, help you realize um, the, the um, perhaps the good points of your idea or um, maybe try to nitpick your idea and like try to evolve your idea into something that's even better than what you already have now. And on top of that, through Accelerator, you can network with, you know, in, uh, other, uh, with mentors, first of all, and then maybe uh, people within your industry that can be helpful in your entrepreneurship journey and also with other entrepreneurs, you know, like right. people trying to uh, go down this journey together and I think networking is one of the most important things um, in life mm. even if you're not trying to start a business yourself right right okay uh, so I, I think accelerator uh, an accelerator like, an accelerator program like uh, the Alpha startup would be very helpful All whether, right. you know not just for women for men alike as well well, thanks thanks for spending time uh, speaking to us out in Kuching, although people think you're in San Francisco. I'm here with uh, Dr. Sharon Lee uh, from MyScripts and also Matt Well. And of course, you've been watching The Shift, and this is our In-Depth With series.